all my little glasses geeks. How you doing? Geeking out. Um, this is going to be my third, uh, if you want to call it channeling video. Um, and this might be the last one or the second to the last one, at least for now. Uh, at least, at least for the moment. So, and, and I'm still trying to be quiet because I'm recording these all in succession, one right after the other. And it's still, uh, midnight now. So, uh, yeah, so just to get on to it. Now, this information, uh, I got from Braca Goldsmith, B-R-A-C-H-A, and then Goldsmith, G-O-L-D-S-M-I-T-H, and, uh, another lady, Pam Gregory, P-A-M, and then Gregory, G-R-E-G-O-R-Y, taking their information into account, and others like, oh, what's his name, like, Leo the Lion Guy, and I, I don't know, a, a couple of these other astrology channeler type people, um, this is, this is the information that I've been able to in mass. And this was for May 17th, about Sunday, May 17th, 2020. Um, I actually wrote all this down, all the info that I, I amassed from them. Actually, not, not all of it. This is just a small part of it, but I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll write it down. Um, and this I'm actually realizing is not for the immediate future. It's for the far future. And then I'm going to give you a little bit of information uh, about the far future when this coronavirus thing, as uh, as it's called now, uh, it used to be the 18, what was it, the 1918 flu or something like that. This is the exact same thing that came around in like 1918 or whatever it was, uh, 1918, 1919 flu. That's that that flu is this coronavirus and it's going to come around again in another hundred years because obviously we're not going to cure it now we're not going to solve it now um and and I, you know what i might as well just cover that right now so the coronavirus because this this is this way faster as far as i can tell this is this is much faster um and easier to talk about than all this stuff that pam gregory and whatnot talk about uh, and Brock o. Goldsmith talked about. Anyway, so this coronavirus, uh, it came around in 1918, I think it was, 1919, right around there. It came around again now, wipes out a whole ton of people. It's going to come around in 100 years again. Now, everybody's been talking about communication. This is, so this video might actually go long. So what ends up happening 100 years from now Everyone is talking about communication, communication. Oh, it's going to be cut off. There's going to be things about communication. No, nothing dealing with communication is for this time. It's that is what is going to happen 100 years from now. Yes, I'm a channeler. I'm just telling you, this is the information that I've been given. Communication, what's going to happen, this coronavirus is going to hit in 100 years again. Now, what's going to happen uh, when it comes to cell phones, when it comes to communicating with each other, telephones, you know, this Skyping, these videos and everything, the way we're going to communicate with each other, we're going to have the equivalent of biological uh, computer chips in our brains. And I know this sounds insane, but think about it. In 1918, if I told someone about cell phones and smartphones, and I even handed them a smartphone, you know what they would think? They would think that I was insane, first off, and they would also think, you know, who knows what, witchcraft, Satanism, whatever. But I'm telling you the truth. This is what is going to happen. This is what it's going to be like. In 100 years from now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be communicating with each other via these essentially implants in our brains. And what it's going to be is everybody's going to be connected up to each other. 
kind of like a set of dominoes. Now, if you remove one of those dominoes, suddenly everyone else down the line is cut. So it's kind of nowadays, it's kind of like telephone wires, telephone poles. I'm trying to relate this to nowadays so that people can understand it for today. If you cut the power off to someone's house, or like we had uh, a while ago here, uh, we had the internet line, the lady next door was having her fence fixed. And the guy that was fixing the fence ended up cutting the cable line. Well, that cut the internet connection for an entire block worth of people. It wasn't just us. And it wasn't just her who didn't get internet. There was like four or five people down the line that were relying on that internet connection that was cut at her house. So her house had like four or five people that were signed up on just just on that company's internet line alone. And so at least four or five people down the line, four or five houses is what it actually is, didn't have internet because that line was cut at her house. That's the way it's going to be the next time this coronavirus comes around in a hundred years. And the problem is that all of society is going to be about pure advertising, pure, it's going to be 100% pure advertisement, 100% pure business. No one's going to even know that the coronavirus is, coronavirus is going to be around. No one's going to even know that there's going to be a flu or that there is a flu. People are going to be dying and their connections to the internet are going to be cut off, obviously, because they're going to be dead. Well, that one person will be removed from the line, but that's going to take out so many lines of people, so many blocks of people, just like that, just like in our neighborhood, you know, the lady right next to us, her cable line was cut off and that cut off so many people down the line. That's what's going to be happening the next time this comes around. So if one person keels over, that takes out who knows how many people who were relying on this one person to get them internet connection, to get them phone connection, to get them video connection, to get them, you know, television connection, to get them connected to, say, at this point in time, the government. You know, they're not going to be connected because that one person died. And when you have mass deaths, there's going to be a lot of people getting cut off. So it's not just going to be the people that died that get cut off, obviously. It's going to be everyone who is connected to that person is going to get cut off and they might not even be related to that person. They might not have anything to do with that person. They're just for one reason or another, their internet connection was through that person. And it's going to be because, and that's going to be because everyone is going to be connected to each other, kind of like dominoes, you know, and it's going to be because everybody's internet connection is going to be via essentially microchips in their brain. You know, that's how it's going to work. I am, I know it. I understand it intrinsically, just automatically. I can't explain it better than that. I'm sorry. Uh, but there you go. But that's why everybody's talking about connection, connection, you know, connection, connection, connection. You know, there's going to be a thing with the connection. That isn't right now. That isn't right now. You don't got to worry about that right now. That's going to be on, in a hundred years from now when this thing comes around again. And maybe it's going to be such a big deal that it's literally echoing back into the past, you know, for anyone that's channeling. I mean, that's probably why I got such a loud and clear informational input out of this because I don't get inputs at all unless it's so big and so blatant that even a blind man can see it and even a deaf man can hear it. I don't know how else to put it. You know, it's like if even, you know, if even a corpse can feel it, then, you know, I get it crystal clear. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how else to put it. So apparently connection is going to be very big in the future, you know, but I mean that can, you know, connections being, sorry, I'm trying to move my legs here. Um, Connections being cut, you know, are going to be very big in the future. And I'm sorry to nauseate anyone that's watching this here with the camera. I don't, I really don't mean to make you nauseous. I'm so sorry about that. I know how it is. Anyway, so now on to the longer stuff. And I've already hit the 
10 minute mark so um so as for Pam Gregory and Bracca Goldsmith I'm gonna read through this really fast um so Bracca Goldsmith said that and now I'm coming back in today May 17th 2020 Sunday um that's when I wrote this down that's when I recorded this so Bracca Goldsmith said that there are several banks maybe about six banks around the entire world that are printing money that's not good she said that that's going to lead to and now this is this is other people's information this is not my information this is information up to the second for now for the next 10 15 20 years so if you want to call that up to the second so anyway because all these banks are printing money she says what she sees happening is hyperinflation one dollar will not equal or be able to buy anything one dollar will not equal a dollar uh so you can literally end up having like a wheelbarrow full of money and it's not going to be able to buy you even one egg so because of that people are going to end up literally bartering will end up popping up people and will end up trading uh goods and services you know they'll end up trading services for goods and goods for services uh people will end up having to set up connections and networks in between each other uh, between neighbors between neighborhoods to get what they need whatever it may be um personally the disturbing thing that i see and feel in, in relation to this i see a lot of sharp pains and meanness and cruelty when it comes to the cops they're going to be trying to stop people from freely giving to each other because that's what this is that's what bartering is it's quote freely giving to each other unquote which it's not free at all you're literally giving an item to get an item of what you consider somewhat equal value you know uh and you're going to be giving services to get physical items or to get services you know uh of you know equal value or you might consider it equal value or someone else might consider it equal value either way that's that's not free at all that's literally a system of payment that's literally payment you're just not paying money but it's going to be called freely giving and it's going to be looked down upon and because businesses run everything they're going to make that illegal or try to make that illegal this information is what i see happening what i what i'm getting happening they're going to say that it's outlawed but they're going to be letting everyone do it thankfully but which really upsets me because they're going to be grabbing a few people here and there and trying to make them examples which is absolutely communist obviously but it's absolutely horrible uh so anyway back to back to Bracca Goldsmith and pa Pam Gregory there's going to be hyperinflation where one dollar will not equal anything then there's going to be hyper deflation where one dollar will equal to say one dollar will be equal to say what used to be ten dollars or hundred dollars in today's economy so um and personally I looked into that and what I am told personally when it comes to that is that when this happens prices will return to what they are today except or or very close to what they are today so uh so when you get hyperinflation and then you get hyper deflation uh when you get the deflation the prices are going to be pretty much right around what they are today except they're going to be about 10 to 50 dollars higher for everything across the board so if it's ten dollars today when you get the hyper deflation it's going to be twenty dollars if it was fifty dollars today when you get the hyper deflation it's going to be a hundred dollars so that shows how terrible the inflation will be that shows how absolutely horrible the inflation will be the disturbing thing is that i'm told i managed to live through the hyperinflation but i don't necessarily make it to the hyper deflation so that's kind of something scary for me some information that i was told i hope that isn't true i'm told that it's because of lack of money on my part and lack of health not being able to get medical treatment you know 
anyway, I don't want to get into that. Anyway, um, so back to Brock Goldsmith. Um, so yeah, because of all, because of this, uh, all businesses collapse, which actually lines up with my dream. All businesses collapse. Every last business collapses, no matter how big, no matter how strong, no matter how enduring, it collapses entirely. Um, personally, I don't see this happening, but this is what, this is what Braca Goldsmith really made it out to be. All businesses collapse. I actually have seen that. That makes sense. But she also says that all governments collapse. I don't see governments collapsing. I don't see them completely collapsing. Um, especially, I mean, I could be wrong. I, I did not see the coronavirus coming. I didn't. I wasn't, I wasn't told about that. I wasn't warned. Nothing. Nothing at all. You figure I would have been told about that one. I wasn't. I don't know what to think. Um, maybe because it isn't affecting me or my lifestyle at all because of how sick I've been. I've been housebound. I've been bedbound, you know, so much, you know, and it's just, so anyway, um, So yeah, and this this is really interesting. Uh, Braca Goldsmith says uh, because of all this, because of the hyperinflation and then the hyperdeflation, and obviously the deflation goes down to being ten to fifty dollars more than it is now, which is that's pretty bad. Um, if you're calling that deflation, if you're calling that deflation, I don't call that deflation at all. But that's that's. That's the deflation. So think how bad it's going to be for inflation. She says, because of this, people get very demanding that what they buy is of good quality and lasts for an extremely long time and can go through a lot of tough and terrible treatment and being beat up and neglected and not cared for. And uh, she really makes it out that people end up having to produce their own everything, their own clothing, their own bread their own vegetables their own fruits their own you know fresh water their own everything um and she says because of all this all money collapses and everyone everyone the world over falls to bartering um so yeah i know i know it's not happy or encouraging and what i figured out is that as far as I see it, everyone who isn't rich ends up having to fall to bartering. So, which is just basically everyone. And the way I understand it, what I got was that, so we're going to have two worlds. One is going to be the rich, where everything is going to continue on with no, not that much of a big difference, if any at all. And... And then there, the, the other world that we're going to have is going to be everyone else. A, no one is going to trust anyone. B, no one is going to see each other. Uh, oh, B, everyone is going to see each other as liars. And C, everyone will be warring against each other, and especially the businesses and governments. That exist. And D, everyone will be living off bartering and not buying. So that's, you know, except for the extreme and ultra rich and those that are in power everyone is going to be relying off bartering not only that but that makes it very easy i have to i realize just now that that makes it very easy for governments and those in power to really control the people and get them to to fight against each other instead of fight against those in power to fight against you know to fight each other for resources i mean it's just Yeah, and something that I've been told here over and over again by not just these people, but by people like Dolores Cannon, which I I now have a major beef with, <laughs> I will say, and I'll do that in another video, but, uh, and I'm just going to read what I have written here as fast as I can, because my voice is running out, it's getting hoarse and rough and hard to talk, and I'm already at the 19 minute mark, but and something I've been told over and over again here that there's going to be mass deaths. Now, I think this is in this group, the have-nots group, and it makes sense. No money, so no doctors. And if you do go to the doctor, they write off your very real ailments as false 
and also known as aka mental illness or stress, anxiety, etc. And they send you home or have you arrested for even coming in, you know. Uh, if, if you're like African American or someone who they're prejudiced against, which, which is true, you know, I mean, there's, you know, they're, they're going to be writing people off as saying that they're druggies and just wanting drugs and, and hopefully people are going to realize, you know, don't go to the doctor unless you actually want to be arrested and your family members to be arrested, you know, which is just absolutely terrible, you know, simply for going into the doctor and saying, cure me, I'm sick, you know, and instead of curing you, they have you arrested because you, you know, they look up and they realize, you know, you don't have the money to pay this bill and you don't have any insurance. So, you know, and that's just, that's absolutely blasphemous to me, but they, they've already been doing that with homeless people. And this may be true for America, but it will be true for the rest of the world, too, very soon, if it isn't already happening. So, anyway, no money and no jobs, which equals terrible abuse and seeing everyone as worthless, which all equals mass individual, you know, all kinds of stuff. Suicide, starvation, death from dehydration and starvation and neglect and being beaten to death and being denied basic rights and so no money equals no food starvation and dehydration no money equals no housing death simply from kidney failure because you didn't even have a bathroom to use or gut problems because of no bathroom uh, employment was sketchy before but now it's going to be non-existent everyone employed basically anyone who's going to be employed will be the rich and the rich alone so all this and more obviously equals mass deaths, all of which, as in the past, will not be reported, by the way. This this is not going to be reported. They're not going to say it on the news, plain and simple. And they're going to make it out to be, oh, we're having a good economy. Oh, people are being hired. Oh, people are being fed and watered. When that's not going to be the case at all. You, you think it was bad before. It's, it's going to be so much worse. And all I can think of to say is I'm sorry and all this. I just, so anyway, so I looked into this and personally what I saw was even in my own world, my own life, all the utilities being turned off, water, electricity, gas, etc. But water and electricity, you know, being needed and missed the most, and being turned off, you know, the most. And the only reason that I could figure out was because there was a breakdown of society, of society that where A, there are no more utilities anywhere for anyone, or there are utilities, and this is what I got, there are utilities, but only for the rich and the super rich, the people who are able to pay the more than exorbitant, you know, electricity bills, water bills, gas bills, you name it, all of it. And, and something that I realized while I was, you know, channeling this and looking into it and whatnot myself, uh, I just want to warn everyone something I realized in all this, we are a connected global economy. And if one country goes down, we all go down. Now, currently, America is the head and still sort of, of this global economy. And it has been said that when America gets a cold, the rest of the world gets the flu. So if America gets the flu, think how bad it'll be. And America already has the flu because of COVID and shutting everything down. And, you know, more and more, China is literally the head of this global economy now because China shut down and it, it ruined us. And now it's ruining everyone else. And so really, <coughs> it's China who's the head. And so it's just, it's bad. And then it goes into that dream that I ended up telling in, in a previous video about how all of America was gray and dead. There was no plant life. There was no animal life. There was no people. 
there was no human life any, anywhere. And this man covered in a silvery gray sheet was lifted up as a Christ figure above all the land. And, and it was Trump. And it was, and I don't know why he was covered in a sheet, but yeah. And I'm hardly able to speak anymore. And this is all, it's like in slow motion, but it is happening. And so, yeah, that's it. And since I actually got pain and seizing in my, in my throat, it doesn't want to talk anymore. It's way too dried out. I'm going to let it go. Uh, and I'm going to give my voice a rest and try to have a sip of soup or something here and um, try to feel better. So... I don't know what to say other than I'm sorry. I hope I'm wrong. I need to be wrong. I desperately need to be wrong. Believe me, if you don't flush a toilet in a while, that ends up stinking up your whole house. And if the water gets turned off, you're not going to be able to flush your toilet. That's going to be absolutely horrific. It doesn't matter if you shut the doors, it doesn't matter if you open the windows, it doesn't matter if you manage to even turn on the, like the little ceiling fan, you know. It's the whole place, it doesn't matter if you put air fresheners in there. It's going to stink so bad. It's going to be awful. And and no one needs their electricity turned off. No one needs their internet turned off. No one needs their water turned off. No one needs water no, no one needs to be deprived of their water. No one needs to be deprived of their food. So I need to be wrong. I hope I am. I need to be wrong. So yeah. <laughs> I really hope I'm wrong. And I know hope is a four-letter word and I don't want to cause bad stuff to happen by using the word hope but I, I don't know what else to say I don't know what other word to use so and I'm at the 27 minute mark here so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it off so the next videos that I do they might not be they're definitely gonna be more uplifting than this I will guarantee it they will be at least encouraging for the soul because I I'm going to at least verbally be giving people rights that are not being given rights, at least in the line of the spiritual community. So I'm going to go now. <laughs> I can hardly talk anymore. So I love you all. Please protect yourself. Please take care of yourselves. Please help yourselves and each other out. And I love you. And, you know... As Robin Williams said, laughter and happiness save lives. As Mr. Rogers said, it's you I like. It's every part of you. It's your soul, your heart, your core, your being. It's you. Um, and as I say, truth. Telling the truth, I say, can save lives. So, And that's why I'm doing these videos. So just getting the information out there can help so many people. And I hope that these videos help you all. So, bye.